is to attempt to pull off this lead here. And I don't know if I can do that from here. I think I'm going to have to do is to clip it. Like this out of the way here. I clip this. This is the original lead from the old capacitor that was in there. The original one before I put the black ones in. Um, and it's generally customary to tack them in like this until we get the, the proper ones that go in here, which I did. Let me just get another wire cutter here. A heavy duty, heavy duty nipper here. I can nip this out. All right, here it is. I will need to keep this little piece of uh, sleeving right here so I can uh, put it onto the uh, lead of the new cap. It's a little hard to work with the camera in the way, but I do want to get a close-up. All right, now what I'm going to do here is to commence taking the other cap out. Uh, it's basically the same procedure. What we're going to do is we're going to unhook here. There's nothing wrong with these black ones. They're just not quite heavy enough. The voltage ratings of these caps aren't heavy enough. Now this assembly right here, I made this up. I don't know if you can see that in the in here. I guess you can. Uh, I made this thing up to replace these because I didn't have these at the time. When my order comes in, I'll have some more of these. I will at that time replace this assembly with just one of these and that should do it. This is a this is a coupling capacitor for the horizontal circuit. What we are replacing is the vertical right now, right at the moment. This is all the parts that I have. Uh, and then when we're all done with that and we replace these, uh, then we should be in business. I'm trying to get in here and... All right. And again, nothing wrong with these. It's just that they're just working at the very upper limit. When you put 6,000 volts on a, on a part that's rated for 6,000, you're pushing the limit. You always should try to go, you know, 80 or 90 percent of the rating of the unit. Because this is all you could get at the time, they didn't make the 8,000 uh, until, well, these are old stock, but of course, these are probably 20 years old, uh, but they're brand new. Uh, it's just never been used. And I tested them out. I put the 6,000 on them and they didn't break down, so uh, I know that they're good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the same thing as I did on the other side. Uh, and that is I'm going to remove this here. And if you notice, when you do any of this kind of work, you always remember where you take things off. Okay? You have to go off a coffee, go out to take a diarrhea dump or something. Make very sure that you uh, uh, remember where you were left off. Okay, so we got that off, and we we are going on the junction of the resistor and capacitor right here, and we'll just move this out just a little bit here. This is where we're going, and we are going on the bottom down under here this is where we're going we're clipped into here what we need to do what we need to do is to get this wire up out of the way here so I can see where I'm going it's a little awkward because I'm working on an angle over here because the camera's in the way to be perfectly honest with you the camera's in the way so if the camera wasn't in the way, it has to be here. I could zoom in and do the same thing, but it wouldn't uh, be as clear. I could take the camera and put it across the room and zoom in, but then my body would probably get in the way of it. And therefore, uh, you still wouldn't be able to see anything. I'm trying to get my, my clumsy, clumsy self in here so I can work. Now we're going to go up there and we're going to clip up there. So we're going to go soldering it onto the back of this control which is a tie point actually of the capacitors in the high voltage circuit. 
what this is here this is a bleeder resistor network these controls are all basically almost in series and the taps are taken off for your focus and then your alter or your second anode or your high voltage uh, plate of your CRT I'll put my soldering iron down here we'll give it a little uh, 90 degree bend to go into here and what we are going to do is clip this back just a little bit here nothing too uh, drastic because we cut the leads too short we're in trouble I'd rather cut uh, not enough and then uh, I always can go back and take more if necessary now this is something I have never done on video is to actually record me restoring something like this it's really hard to do things like this by yourself normally you'd have a cameraman do this while I can concentrate on my repair here uh, but because I'm a one-man show here and I'm not looking for any Academy Awards on this thing what I am doing is the voltage on this end as I said is about three to four hundred volts this is the high end here this is what the high voltage high tension end here okay that's the part that we really need to worry about that everything is dressed properly now being that you say well this is close to this but they're all at the same potential uh, they're all six thousand volts above ground and this being ground across the chassis uh, all these here so the difference between here and here is maybe a couple hundred volts uh, the difference between this capacitor and this capacitor is uh, probably uh, 40 or 50 volts but the difference between here and the ground chassis was to be about 6,500 volts or thereabouts. So uh, we are looking good. And I'll tell you, if these other parts come in the mail, I can change this unit. I can change this one, a 001, at 6,000 volts. I could probably change that and this. But basically, I want to change this big glob right here because one two three four five of these little disc capacitors just to replace one of these is kind of wasteful so uh, I want to be able to remove this eventually and do it right um, is when I want to get this thing up on a shelf maybe in, uh, and be able to sit down and show it off when it's all working good and say uh, you know but he comes in and looks at it and say well that's a TV that's 50 years old or whatever 51 years old here it is 2000 already and uh, you know I want to be able to tell everybody hey uh, you want to come see my television remember we used to watch Howdy Doody on these things well it probably goes back before your time I remember Howdy Doody I grew up with him I used to watch Ding Dong School too you remember that there it is looks pretty much the same as before now we got some work to do. We got some twisting here and so forth. That's an, that's related to the uh, AGC controls and so forth. And um, we make some adjustments on that. We'll get that right out. Uh, I've got to work on the uh, on the video IF circuits up through here and find out. I got a little bit of problems up in here to take care of. But at least I've got this uh, going here and looking good. And I do have some more work to do under here. But I'm not going to go through this with you. I just wanted you to get a close-up shot of, of me working on all these things now. Uh, we'll do more work on this, but it's not going to be done on camera. Thank you. Thank you.